I'm alive. How you getting on, Kieran? Grand. Yourself? Oh, it's grand. Same. All right. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, grand is absolutely wrecked. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Man, is it as hot Grand's outside as is, is, oh, is it as hot outside where you are as it is where we are? Because unbelievable. It's a nice looking day. Yeah. Fucking being cooked live over here. It was all evening since. Yeah, yeah, I'm mean, burnt to a crisp. It's brilliant. Love it. <laughs> now I'm like, not going back out. <laughs> yeah. I'm done now. Yeah. Oh, it was great to be out in the door. Running around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend was out the other day. I think actually it was, it was yesterday. And they were doing up the garden. They were getting rid of the moss in it, yeah. And uh, she, she sent me a picture of her arms after. She's fucking proper raw red, like. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's, a, that's a sore one. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the thing with us anyway. Fucking Irish town. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Asher, yeah, it? Go down yeah, farmer's right. hand there now. There it is. <laughs> it's, it's it's literally like it's 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 white as anything else. Pink like a chicken, and back to white. Not not nothing sticks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got Manuel here. We got Donut Tom. We got Jesus. Hey, get on, Jesus. Good to see you. Oh, You're fucking class, Thomas Crow. It's a story with you. Farmer's Town. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that, Thomas? Suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to pull up this. Um, I'm going to pull up your fucking Instagram. Oh, lovely. Let's go. Make sure to close all the dodgy <laughs> tabs first. You know yourself. All right. Uh, Recipe for brownies. Ah, <laughs> uh, Christ. He's after leaving. Uh, what's going on here now? Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, Jared will be oh, back gone. momentarily, folks. Jared, Jared will be back momentarily. <laughs> Until then, here and like he didn't even ask you. How about you introduce yourself, man? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, what a <laughs> yeah, who's this? I just signing in for the crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, introduce yourself, uh, James. How would I do it? Was quick. Just, just, just artist. Yeah, expressionist artist. Um, And now we've lost Kieran. Well, it's Pride Month. My birth month. I'm not gay. It's cool if you're. Um, oh, you're there back. You're, you're back. back. Right. You were gone for a second. <laughs> you said yeah. artist and you disappeared. What, what was the last thing I said? Artist. <laughs> oh, yeah, artist. Well, sure, there you go. <laughs> that was easy. I know, yeah. Asher, look, Leash, yeah, from Leash uh, Expressions. Artist, painter. That's my way. Love having the crack. I, I'm only really here for the crack at this stage, you know. Live the miserable life and enough of a miserable life now at this point to just know to just look. We're, we're dead soon. I'll be dead soon. So now's the time to just have the crack and power forward. And painting is painting is one of the things that I get a lot of crack out of, and and sharing it as well. Sharing it and kind of get, connecting is is brings it to another level so i do a lot of that too which you'll see on my instagram <laughs> all this video of me talking shit <laughs> yeah. i don't even know what i'm talking about for sure anyway uh, well i know i've noticed it like fairly recent like you're kind of blowing up you're getting the likes of you know the hardy books start following you there's lads we know like the likes of steve cantwell starting to check you out so you, you're building up there anyway yeah uh, yeah I, I i lot of back and forth on colin because he i think he he, I think he um, respects the kind of storytelling videos. Uh, kind of, <laughs> yeah. He just kind of, I don't know, engaged at one. Oh, he's gone again. It's yeah, we've had Owen called him before. He's class. It's going to be a long night, Jared, isn't it? It might. Just be. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> hey, you go again. You go again. I'm not like how about, Kieran, how, about, how about you introduce yourself? I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. This has never happened to me before. Should I switch to yeah. my phone or I'm on my laptop? Uh, I don't know what's I mean, going on there. Maybe maybe switch to your phone. I mean, That's we'll right. we'll give it we'll, we'll give it another. Yeah, yeah. Just just it might work. We'll see. Yeah, but yeah, but on call, yeah, just on that, he just started engaging randomly and and. Yeah, it's been good crack. I go crack with him. He's funny and he's always kind of, you know, if you get the nod, you know, if you get the nod from somebody like Owen Colgan, 
or he tells you that something is funny, it is funny because yeah. he's he's up there, isn't he? With 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 yeah. just Irish comics, he's unbelievable. So we, funny. We've had so, him on, yeah. and like looking back on it, it was such a dodgy episode because it was like, yeah, at the time we didn't have face cams, so we didn't have face cams on. It was like, oh, would you turn yours on at the start? And he's like, no, I just look like a fucking idiot. So he had his off, and um, oh no it, way. It, it, it was, it was, it was no, it was good crack to have a chat, but like, I we could, may have, may as well have had a vo voiceover artist in there. Yeah, but, uh, I, yeah, yeah, and and he'll always he'll always help people out as well. He's great for that. Mm. Sure, he's on about five hundred. Like, if you type him in the Spotify, it's a joke. Like, oh, you're fucking scrolling for hours. Sure, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's great crack. Um, someone asking here, the German. Yeah, he's Dish. Uh, no, I did German in school. Why <laughs> 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 oh, you sack the black teacher? <laughs> yeah, no, I got um, I get I do get foreign a lot though. I, I do get that when I'm on a way if because I travel a lot and if if I if I say Ireland, Ireland's not the first people are like what Ireland a lot, I get a lot of kind of Scandinavian stuff like that it's weird for sure anyway yeah. <laughs> can't go wrong with that I'll take Scandinavia any day here's all the stuff here so yeah, oh, I'm yeah. Artist. In, in case you remember these things yeah <laughs> no they're, they're fucking good man ah they're wild they're wild yeah, yeah. a lot of hands and stuff like that that's the caption comp that it is started yesterday so yeah that's off to thank god that one doesn't have to travel far <laughs> some of them go abroad oh lord yeah that must be that must, must be handy like what do you mean well like they you know like an international audience like that that you can like send them on isn't, isn't uh, that what you yeah 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 they do they, they 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 go everywhere now they don't go to uh, your man, the FedEx man, was telling me there one day the places that they, they don't go to, and like the far flung Russias and and Mongolias and stuff, they don't <laughs> they don't get out there. But I don't <laughs> I don't have that kind of audience. Uh, but they have, yeah, they do go everywhere, and it's funny actually. Um, the the second last caption come twenty. Uh, what was it? Caption come twenty four. Went to a small t rural town in um, a small rural town in. You'll never know. Well, <laughs> yeah. where did it go? Again, for again. the love of God, tell I'm us. Try, tell us where it went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to swap my phone here. Will I just to crack? Yeah, and yeah. See what happens. I mean, Give it a go there. We'll I'm on the phone there now, so hold on. I'll turn, I'll just get rid of this laptop altogether, will I? <clears throat> and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll switch it out. Now. Oh, there you go. Hello. There you are. How are you? Well. Spot on. How are you? <laughs> are you well? How about you introduce yourself? How about you introduce yourself? Yeah. Yeah, but. Yeah, so I'm on, on there now. Yeah, so I went to a tiny, a tiny town in in what's called it, northern Ontario, called uh, Barry, and like the um, the town, like the te town that's ten minutes kind of the west of it. I worked in them a work placement in college, and like this place is like back arse of nowhere. Uh, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't go there if you went to Canada. You know that kind of way. Yeah, it's it's not a place like where, where you go. Oh, I'm heading to Canada. You, you don't go. Oh, I'm going to Barry or Owen Sound, which town I was in. So this woman won the caption comp from Barry, and I was like, no way. I worked in the next town over, and she was like, fuck off. What were you doing up here? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it was uh yeah, it was that. It was it's crazy, and that was mad one. That was one of the craziest ones I've ever. I've ever seen yeah yeah it, well it's, it's it's unfortunate like you know the likes of far-reaching scandinavia and mongolia can't get your stuff but you know we grind you i think you have to put yourself on mute oh sorry there you go back again yeah. 
There you go. Yeah, yeah good man. So, <laughs> you, you you said this beforehand. You like you guys started with this because because of lockdown, like. Yeah. Started so, in April. You know, likes of ourselves, we end up starting a fucking podcast. You end up doing art. So, how how did you get here? Jesus. I I don't know. I I honestly don't know. I I like. I, like, I try to, well, I don't think about, I honestly don't think about it often. I did at the start, like, in the early days, the early days, um, sales especially, I was, like, freaking out. And I was like, what what do I do with this? Like, it was getting crazy. And I suppose, I don't know, as you said, you pull up, you, you pull up my Instagram. Like, a lot of it is very, a lot of it is engaging. And a lot of it isn't really about art either. Like, I just love. If, I, if something makes me laugh in the day, I'll go, Jesus, that was hilarious, and I'll fling it up there, and mm. I'll have a bit of crack with the, with the people that follow me, and I think that that's why I am not sure. Like, I, I really don't know. Um, and I don't, I don't know if I want to know either. <laughs> I'd, rather just, uh, I'd rather just enjoy the ride and not really kind of just put the blinkers on, because, like, you know yourself, you get hate and all that crack, and you get yeah. pra- praise and hate, and you can't, I can't, you can't really let either in. I, I don't, anyway. I just kind of I just kind of power forward and just don't, don't let it. Um, I just don't listen to. It. Well, I, I do. I accept it, but I, I don't kind of jump on it or because if you did that, sure, it's it's, it's emotional harm, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. when I look at your your stuff, I, I see you more as like a comedian who does art more so than an artist. Like I I do love to see your stuff, but like like you're saying, like the way you do like your, your videos or whatever, or even the way like you answer people in your story, it's pretty pretty fucking funny. Ah, uh, thanks very much, Dad. That's great they say that. It means so much to me because I was trying comedy before the art started. Um, how come you're not doing that, like, instead? Well, because of COVID. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like, simply, like, no joke. Um, I, I I started, I was doing open mics in 2019. And early 2020, like, I was in a comedy club in... In the, the last the, the last Monday in January, I was in a in a club in Dublin trying to get stage time, and uh, I I was I was riding that wave of learning the craft and trying to well not not call the craft, but like I I was I was getting going with that, <laughs> and it was so bad. Oh Lord. I was get I was driving fucking Galway and Watford, and like in the middle of the night, like I would go for a sway mask work and get the train to Dublin or drive to Watford or Galway and get on stage for five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. <laughs> My first one was for 10 minutes. And I uh, didn't get, I, I'd say I got about five laughs in, I, I did, I think I did 12, 12 open mics. Um, and it, it got nothing. I was getting nothing. It was slow, very slow. They were coming. Like by that by that ninth and tenth, I was getting a few teas on the back. <laughs> but uh, it was uh, it was coming, it was coming, and I was getting excited, really excited. I was really enjoying it, and and yeah, then it just stopped. And sure, fair enough, that's just the way it goes. Um, so it was mad. Yeah, I was. I was dipping into this to comedy. It was frightening the shit out of me every time. Um, yeah. it was so scary, but it was it was amazing. It was great crack. I loved I loved it. Um, so yeah, I'll go back to that. Yeah, but for now, <laughs> Instagram stories. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd love to see it, you get back into it at some point, especially with like the likes of you know Sir Stevo or um, that three books left, looking to start doing comedy again. So you know, I'm lo- looking forward to going to a few shows. So we, we catch you somewhere. Yeah, yeah, especially because we're, yeah. we're basically fucking neighbors. You're in leash. We're in Offaly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not there. Money across the road and. There isn't really any, like, like when you're at the open mic level, I won't get an opportunity to kind of broadcast. I, I like I won't I won't tell anybody where I am or what I'm doing until, you know, until you get until I feel comfortable with it, a, a mm-hmm. decent level. You know, that kind of way. Yeah, no, that's uh, fair, yeah. I just wouldn't do it. I, like it's different with art because art is all subjective, and I loved the very first piece to the one night. I worked on today. I love every single one of them. Comedy, no, I was, I knew I was shy, and I was like, every single, every single experience was traumatizing. <laughs> 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 so I was like, oh yeah, come on down. 
<laughs> Come on, now we're having a look at me fucking trying to make everyone laugh. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> but you know what kind of way? It's, um, but you won't I, learn unless I, you do it, like. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was doing improv as well and, 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 and gigs. I was doing, I was learning instruments there and stuff. So I was kind of doing it all. Anything where you could get up and get in front of people, I was trying. You know, it's very recent, like only, only since 2018. I got the guitar there summer 2018, and that was the start of it. That was the start of all that crack. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to get back to doing that kind of stuff now, you know, because it's really hard. It's so hard. Um, like, college exams and leaving certs and all that is bears in com- comparison to trying to make people laugh from scratch. It, it's the way, honest to God, it does. Like, it's, it's, it's the top of the Say to right? someone in the leaving cert right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if anyone doing leaving cert now, why you bother? Like, what are you fucking at? You, yeah. you, know, you, know, you, know, you only start learning when you finish the leaving cert. Well, I, well, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, fucking fail German. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's so joke. fucking bad. It's so shit. Over here. It's yeah, just it's, just way they school anyway. Like it's just it's it's a memory game, but it's in a world where you don't need to memorize things as much. Yeah, yeah. Like when you you, you don't get rewarded for having a skill in anything, you just get rewarded for having been able to regurgitate information. So what yeah. kind of a that's to the joke of a system? It, there's no job that rewards you for regurgitating information like that. <laughs> Especially where like basic it is within like whatever group. Like you do metal work, you spit back out the facts. So what? You know, in reality, <laughs> if you're doing anything like that, you're you're at a bit more advanced than that. And no one wants to, no one wants to know you know what they want to see you do it. Absolutely. And do you know what as well? I did all the practical stuff with that in mind because I knew the system is go there. I need to do the practical stuff, so at least I'll have leeway because I'm because I'm good at creating things. But sure, that didn't help me at all. It's fucking art history. I never, I no interest in it, and I fucking nearly failed art because the leaving third exam was worth like I, I can't even remember, but it was worth more than half of the practical stuff. And he's like, sure, this is a no up here. <laughs> and the art teacher was, ah, oh, will you stop? It was just a, it was a disaster. And I, yeah, art, like, I, I don't know what I dislike now, but leaving Church 2007, art was a shit show. Like, it was just a disaster, disaster. No, no practical in it at all. Like, I had no interest in what we were looking at in the books. I had no interest in the teacher. I didn't care what he had to say uh, and what he was telling me. And I just wanted to make, I wanted to destroy the walls. But we were sitting there literally like a fucking classroom, in an art room. Oh, Dude, I, I know it, I know it. <laughs> oh. Sure, we all know it. And like, even the teachers would be telling you, like, I don't know why we have to do this, but we have to do it. Like, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll never forget that with my fucking uh, history teacher. He was going on, like, why we have to learn more about, like, American history and all than, than Irish history. And it was just, it was... Pain in the ass. That doesn't know why we do it. We have to do it, or other parts of it. Like, why? Why do we have to do like Ireland, Northern Ireland, United States? Why can't we do something else? Yeah, it's what we do, and we don't have an yeah. option. And they yeah. don't like. They don't like why. They do not like people asking why. <laughs> and <Yeah>. why <laughs> is the why? Your why is your basis of all your learning and your understanding. Like every time, you should always start with that. Anything you want to learn, you say, well, why am I learning this? Why am I learning the guitar? Or why am I learning about the fucking gulags? Or, you know, and then when you have that, then it should be a non-stop exploration. Yeah. But if you ask a teacher, well, why are we doing this? Get out, get the get out yeah. there, you, you smash it. Don't be asking me that. <laughs> you know, like, like, it's mental. If, if you can't explain it in simple terms, like, you don't really know it. So it kind of gets bad when your teacher doesn't know why as well, like. Ah. Uh, no, oh, probably, yeah, for sure. Look, anyway, let me look. I've all my family or teachers. So <laughs> I always say, like, for sure, they know the crack as well, you know. Get get them in and get them past. That's that's the thing. It's all about numbers. Yeah. Sad. For sure, anyway. Yeah, but you have to do it. So, yeah. got a question here from Jesus, of all people. Oh, lovely. How long does it take to make your art? Jeez. Um, how long? It depends, Jesus, on a lot of things, but. Like the shortest one, which sold for really good money, took 15 minutes. Honest to God, 15 minutes. Two colors. Um, the biggest, like if you're just going by size, again, it could, it, it could take anything from 
two hours to a month. Like, I'm not one of these artists that fucking is crippling over, like, oh, this is never going to be finished because um, these these paintings, well, just from what people tell me, they, they, they don't, they can't be finished, you know, you know, that kind of way. They're, they're, they're never ending. Even when you when you get one close to your face or when the clients or customers tell me, they're like, every time I look at that, I, I don't know why. It's just, it's crazy. I get something different every time. And like you can change it. That's why, like, you can change the landscape, the portrait, like if it's a long one or if it's a different kind of shape. So that's that's it. like it can take varying times. But if I I have spent a month on one, and I and I said as I spent fifteen minutes on others, and they've they've all they've all gone down well. So you know it depends. Like clients, commissioned clients, I don't like to spend too long on them because. The longer you're taking, the pressure is on then because you're you're already you're already in with money, um. So the pressure there with that. So I don't. I want to try and, and just flow with them and get them done quick. <laughs> Not that like I rush them, but you, I can I can tell when I'm happy with them, and so far so good with everybody else. You know, that kind of way. I haven't had anybody kind of come back and go, "Could you do another ten minutes on that there?" Because it, it's not that type. Of, it's not that style. Like you know, it's it's a funny one. It's it's really interesting, actually. Like I I I meditate on it a lot, and I write about it, and I always try and understand it. Like why why people take them and pay me to do it and stuff. But again, you can't dwell on that too long, and then and then of course you spend longer doing it. Then when you when you start going into trying to get into clients' heads and future clients' heads, you're like, should I spend more time on this and blah 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 blah? But no, you just just rock rock and roll. I don't know. Crazy. That was a long yeah. answer. <laughs> well, no, like uh, that, that's oh. it. Like, yeah. could you match a podcast or like a show like this? where like, oh, how long does it take? Five minutes. Okay. Do you like doing it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We open yeah. very fast. Ah, um, yeah, yeah. I know. Like, uh, yeah, but but sure, that's the thing. They're all these paintings are just like, I not not like I enjoy every single one of them. There hasn't been one where I'm like this fucking York. I'm going to break this canvas and show you. I've never had any of that. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Um, I have had like, I have because I I recently moved when well, I moved there over Christmas, and when I was moving the the bigger pieces, I forgot about a lot of them, and I said, Jesus, fuck, I can't even remember doing that. And I would look at it and go, I might do that different, and then it just completely it, it transforms into some way even crazier piece, and 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 then it might sell, and then that's that's I find that hilarious. Like, you know, it's it's ah, it's mad, it's mad. But sure, yeah, yeah, varying times, varying sizes, and then I suppose mental and emotional energy too. It can be draining, and if I'm bollocked after a couple of hours, I'm nearly always done. You know, the paint's nearly always done. If I'm expending a lot of physical and mental energy, which I do, I'm very fit physical with with the paint. Uh, they're done then because <laughs> I don't want to go back fucking near it <laughs> All well, that stuff. I mean uh, that's the way it should be I guess mm. um, what else we got here pay ale or stow jeez ah, that's the that. important questions I, I know it has to be stout. I am absolutely fucking gasping for a pint just one pint of Guinness is all I want cold Creamy, thick, and don't, don't. down the gizzard, one gold. Oh, I cannot I wait. I can't wait. Will you, will you shut up? It's, it's seven o'clock in the evening. I can't be drinking pints at this hour. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Have you ever, obviously, you know, Owen Colgan, have you, you've watched the Hardy books, have you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, over, sure. over this, I've probably watched it too many times. But yeah. you remember that one where then, like, Alcoholics Anonymous, like, and fucking yeah. Durkin's there, like, talking about, like, the pints. Oh, uh, me. Oh, uh, stop. I knew never. It's so funny. I was just thinking about this today because there's an empty bottle of Corona Light back there on my uh, on my desk and I was looking at it and it was so hot today. I was like, well, I put up a story here now and I was like, the, the kind of, the, what do you call it? The kind of, the, the way I wanted to do the story was like, it's a roasting hot day. It's 25 degrees. The sweat is formed from the top of your neck right down dripping to the top of your the, the bottom of your neck down to the top of your arse you are sweltering and then the next slide 
<laughs> what's the first drink you go for? And obviously, I'd have the bottle of Corona because like the fridge pulled them downstairs. <laughs> oh, I'll get a good picture of that. A big sweaty back and a cold beer. Like you cannot go wrong because we don't get it in Ireland. We don't. It's it's so rare that when we do get it, like what we were saying before, you get out, you get sunburned, and you go you go to twenty cans of cars or get them down into your stomach. Oh, stop. Yeah, or anything, I, whatever. I, I, was, I was in the fucking gas station and I was, I was with the girlfriend. We went, went off to just get like a milkshake or ice cream. Like, settled for the milkshake, Kinder Bueno, handy out. It was great. Mm. Um, but, you know, I heard a lot of the desk and he was uh, like at the till and your man was like, oh, lovely, lovely spell out there today, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, he, you know, he answered back to your man like, yeah, yeah. But I heard someone said it only lasts till Wednesday and the summer's over. I was like, that's the most Irish shit I've ever heard. Fucking hell, that's Irish. Three days I of need. sunshine, summer's over. He needs he needs to get either a missus if he doesn't have one or hobbies because he's too long to be thinking about things there. Like you're already complaining about the summer that we just had. And we're only day one. Are we even day one in yet? Are we into June? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't summer's be dealing over. with that. I can't be dealing with people like that. I can't I don't understand it. I don't get the I don't understand that mentality of, ah, sure, it's, sure, it's gone now, sure, it's over now, and, ah, sure, you, move, you moved over there, sure, that's, sure, that's, sure, that's, sure, sure, do they have any, or, you know, so why would you go there, or, you know, ah, that's a kip, or, I don't, I just can't, I don't have the, I just, I just can't, when I'm around somebody like that, I go, I, 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 I just have to go here, I can't be dealing with you. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a fair way to be, in fairness, like, but again, as I was saying, like like living a, 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 in a past life um, of misery or whatever, you just learn not how to not deal with those. I, I you learn the people you don't listen to. <laughs> so uh, I call it ignorance, but I just I just couldn't be arsed. I don't I don't because it's it's very draining being around that energy. Like it it can suck. Oh shit! <laughs> Did you hear that? What? <laughs> I just heard music there. God is a DJ. Somebody's playing music. But, um, faithless. No, I didn't uh, hear that. Yeah, I don't know. I just find it, it just drains me. You can't be around it. Can't do it. So yeah. I just move on. Uh, Sorry, it's a very Irish thing as well. <laughs> like, you know, people just being like negative or like super jealous as well. It's it's a weird thing. Especially yeah, I'd say, I'd say you get a lot, you probably get a lot of that to eat. With, oh, like you're so productive and it's like what you're doing I was going to talk, talk to Tom there about about the guests like you know Bruce Buffer and, and Stephen Cantwell like, and I was listening to those episodes and I was just buzzing I was like I can't believe these boys got these ads on I couldn't believe it but, but it, 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 you know it, it mo- for someone like me that would motivate me I wouldn't be like Jay's and Staff looking at them whores now and all this but like for people that are around you, you know, that aren't probably doing anything that are in Eden Derry there or wherever you are in Offaly, you know, they might look at that in a different light, you know, and I'd say you probably get it a good bit, do you? No, I, uh, I've never got anything bad about it. That's good. <laughs> well, only bad things when we've had to remove things. Like we had to take someone's episode off because they were gobshite. And they were oh. kind of like, what's the story there? Like, like you know the story. Um can you say any names? <laughs> no, I won't say any names. It was yeah, all big anyway. So I'll, I'll, say, I'll say the names. Shout out. Don't mind him now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, it's, it is that. Yeah, and it's like, but you know what, though? I think the more you make, the more you make podcasts and the more you are, just the more you create and the more you put out, the less and less you hear of it, it comes up every now and again. But but people people see it and go, ah, yeah, grand, fuck him. But then that just kind of that just flows away then into the ether, and you don't really, yeah, you don't really hear it anymore. That's we, been my experience anyway. We had one seriously dodgy, fucking awful experience though. It was like one one that like I couldn't go to bed that night. I was fucked. We had a flat Earth guy on, okay. Oh, for and we do, <laughs> we're right ready. We debunked Flat Earth multiple times on the podcast with him, and he still wasn't having it. Um, so I quoted him because he said something so outrageously stupid. I made it to the, the, the thumbnail. He says he thinks Jupiter is the size of a basketball. So 
I played that the thing, and then he sent like his flattered people like to get like to go and like fucking give out those basically. We got a thousand comments in one night. Every wow. every single time you refresh the video, there'd be a new comment, and it was always like "fuck you, fuck you." You know, it, it was it was bad stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, where were the comments? Uh, underneath the video. video. Oh, on, on YouTube. YouTube video. Yeah. yeah. Actually, no, oh, no, no, not God. just YouTube because they also went to the Instagram and Twitter and yeah, yeah. They, they just kind of went just kind of lurking for us, you know, like yeah. <laughs> Well, it was weird. Like for a while, like they would kind of hang around, like maybe pop up on a new video, say some shit. But yeah. uh, they, eventually, they went away. It was all right. It, yeah, but yeah. Man, they're a weird group. I, I didn't. It, I, th- I thought that was over. I thought flat Earth was. I didn't think that. I thought that kind of went away. Apparently, <laughs> but, they're growing bigger and bigger. But was he Irish? No, no. he was. It's his name's David Weiss. He is David an episode Weiss. with him. He was uh, He does this thing where he. He he has someone book him onto like podcasts or whatever, and then he um gets on and talks about flatters. Um, he he's been you know you know Alex Jones is, yeah yeah he was on his show. Oh, and lovely. I, I, Alex Jones called him called an idiot like, uh, <laughs> like you said he was just it's not not the case at all what he's saying, but um he's you know, probably it, the the spokesman for he that's probably where he's the only one that goes on because he can he can he can talk about because you can. You can spew a lot of environmental and scientific mumbo jumbo and make it sound like you know what you're talking about, but we do you're, you're talking pure <laughs> shite. Yeah, but like, you know, well, what is it's outrageous that it's a bit different, but yeah, you you can say anything and convince people on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, they fucking convince me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, they. Fuck. Yeah, they're dodgy <laughs> fuckers. But here, here's here's a good one now, actually. Um, I think it's the Logan Paul fight. You're gonna be watching the Logan Paul versus Mayweather. Uh, uh, I weekend, watched the highlights. Like, Jesus, I won't log in live. No way. Um, I'm sure it'll probably be on. It's, it's in Vegas, is it? Yeah, yeah. Or no, uh, it's, yeah, it's no. Miami, but it's it's on at five o'clock in the morning. Like you know, that's right, that's us, like, five o'clock isn't too bad actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I think you messaged me at five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I get up early. No, I won't watch it live, but I will watch the highlights. I do. Uh, we was talking to Tom there. I'm, I'm not. I'm not deep in the UFC game. Not like the brothers are. Um, but I do. I do like it. I do follow. I like. I'm like a. I'm like a. I'm like a bandwagoner. I will look at the kind of embedded, and I look at the countdowns and any of the kind of anything that's documentary style. I'll, I'll watch. I don't even really. I don't really invest in the fighters because. I love the training I because I love exercise and I love, like, I just love watching them in their training and talking and having the crack. I love all that kind of side of it. Yeah. Mm. So I love those embedded videos and and all that crack. So I will, I will, and I will watch the highlights because it's all, it's, it's mayhem what's going on. It's absolute mayhem. Anybody can fight anyone at any time <laughs> for, for anything for an unlimited amount of money. It's so exciting. I can't wait to see like McGregor fucking fighting, I don't know, some Irish fucking blogger that's been talking shit about his babies or something. It's because it's it, going to happen. Like. So it's oh, so yeah. weird. Like. With, with the Jake Paul guy, like when he fought, when he challenged McGregor, yeah, he unfollowed everyone on Instagram except Conor McGregor's wife and was like talking mad shit about Conor's wife to try to get him to bite. Like, oh, but, um, that's fuck. that's. That, if there's anything that would get you into it, that, it would be that. But uh, yeah, that's, that's why you said that. Go, go for the family, and and it's it's uh, yeah. it's not it's not entertainment anymore. It's it, it it gets personal quick when you go that mm. way. <laughs> so yeah, it's, I it's know what stuff. I want to do anyway. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, you you know, um, Sir Steve Altimini, that guy. Yeah, yeah, the farm he's, he's, he's all shipping the big beamer. <laughs> he's, 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 yeah. he's, he's, he's doing um, that fight pretty soon. He's I've seen that in the wheelchair. Uh, McGregor was crack. cracking it as well. McGregor was uh, like donating towards the charity and all. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he, he, yeah. What was it? Ten grand. Ten grand. Because your man had like for like the what would you like the GoFundMe? Yeah. The, the yeah. goal was ten grand. So Conor McGregor comes in and donates a full ten grand. Jesus. Not bad. Not bad. And he's had well, like the likes of um, oh, who, who's that guy? Gypsy King. Um, yeah, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, he, he shared it as well. Like, uh, it's amazing. Uh, they're, they're, 
they're, they are generous and like, like they're lunatics and they fucking they, they, they can get off their hits when they're not in camps but <laughs> like they're they're, they're, sure. they're, they're, they're they're you know when you're at that top end like there's there gen, like generous like Heat McGregor one of my good friends there has a an amateur kind of not an amateur promotion it's Gamma it's the Gaelic the Gaelic uh, mixed martial arts one they start in in, Le- in Puritan and and one of McGregor's old fight, um, fighting partners, Phil Peter, who we all grew up together in the same state, McGregor lumped a load of money on them to to basically keep it going, keep also keep Peter's gym going. Like you're talking tens of thousands of euro to push athletic or amateur or mixed martial arts in the Midlands for young lads. It was unreal. Like it was unreal. The the the, the generosity and the town and. And the and that community, which my friend is deep in, he said it was ridiculous. Like personal phone calls, all this crack. It was un- like I can't believe it. I yeah. can't believe it. Like you know, it's 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 amazing. And like I know, like I don't have a fucking first clue about it, but like we all read the stuff that goes on, you know. But like so what? So fucking what? Everybody, everybody gets off their tits and gets goes through that. It's uh, cause, do you know what I mean? You, you, have, mean, like, you can't make that. Uh, Everyone does good things or bad things. What are you trying to say? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, bad. Everyone has the but the bad that that streak, you know. It's especially when you're at that level of of wealth. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, everybody, everybody like gets their knickers in a twist. But everything, and like I would look at those videos and the comments, and especially in Ireland, but Jesse got some abuse, and I was just laughing, going, "So what? Will you relax? Like, calm what, what, down." What, what, what do you think of the um? When he, when he punched that guy in the bar, because I've, I've kind of changed that my, my mind on that a couple of times. Again, it was unfortunate. Like somebody's in his fire line. That's that's like it, when you're when you're that fucked. Like because I've been there and, and like you don't know what's going on. And sure, look, and somebody it was just it was just bad bad luck that your man was there. Sure, do we know what, what was going on before that? You know, do we ever know what's going on on the other side? What gets said to him or what? who pushes his buttons? Yeah, we they, never they, really know they, about any of that crap. We just see bang and <laughs> fucking knock out and out and, and then the whole world freaks out. That's all we see, you know. So yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, but, but again, I looked at that and went, yes, that's that's lousy, unfortunate, and then moved on with that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think about it much until now. <laughs> like, you know, like if, if it wasn't McGregor, it would, the headline would be like, man punches man in bar. Who gives a fuck? You know, Gosh, like in a bar in Dublin, your case yeah. is like it's not fucking happening in every pub. There, there in you Dublin, go. especially. <laughs> but like, you, you make it McGregor, and it's like, oh, he's he's a terrible guy. But then they made like old man. Like, how old was the guy really? Didn't seem that old. Like, what? What would be like mid fifties? McGregor yeah, was like what thirty something. Fifties not again, old. Man, man punches man in bar. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I don't know. It was because like McGregor was giving out free whiskey, and then your man said, "I don't want your shite whiskey." The shite talk started, <laughs> and the fucking really, yeah, yeah. Well, that, 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 that's, what, that's what I read when I I was talking about it on the show before, and I had to actually look it up so I wasn't sound like a gobshite. That, that's what and we then, found last time. And then, Jar, put your put yourself right into so so that really happened, right? You're in a bar there in Eden Derry, uh, and you're having a couple of subs with your missus and some. You you were talking about your podcast or some shit like that, or you you're some a group of lads come in and say we really like the podcast, oh, blah blah blah. You start talking about it, and some old lad at the bar turns around goes, "That fucking podcast is shite. Get that out here." <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, you're it's going to fucking see a bit of red mist. Listen, listen, Kieran. If someone did that, I'd probably buy them a pint, saying you have some good fucking taste. You know, like yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, sure that's where they, again. That's the that's the other side, but that's where, where I was saying that it's hard to kind of try and keep them at an, an even keel because you know, by everyone points. But I don't know, man. Like it's it, it was like super. It was rough, man. Like that, Conor McGregor, fucking huge, huge Irish celebrity, first UFC double champ ever. You know, he's offering you. He's offering you. Like man in bar offering you free whiskey, and you're like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> like, what did you expect? And like, why why not just take the whiskey and cheers with him and and talk Sound. to him? Yeah, talk, talk, like have a fucking sit him down and go taste it and go. I actually don't like that. 
that would have that would have been way better. <laughs> or God, oh, would you throw that with Jameson into that there, lad? But sure, anyway, sure. Okay, so he would have downed it anyway, down to the gizzard. Fucking it. burned and hung off you. <laughs> That's it. I, I, I'd switch places with your man any day. Yeah, um, oh, that sounds alright. Sure. Fucking sure. Yeah, I don't even know how the fuck we got here. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. What happened there? <laughs> I didn't even be talking about fucking fighting. I don't know the first thing about it. I get the head bit off me, you don't fight. <laughs> there you go. Um, I actually, I wanted to open up this thing again. Your fucking stuff here. Uh, I hope I, uh, it's all that crack that happened there earlier with my laptop. Is that going to mess everything up? Or are you really worried about that now? <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, no, any, it's fine. Any editors there, okay. some lad in Indonesia to edit this, make it, make it all go away. Some lad in Indonesia, get in the fiver for every hour he does. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask, like, which of these is your favorite? Because you were saying you, you had a favorite earlier and that you got it sold. Oh, well, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's it's just. It, it's a funny one because it just took it took 15 minutes and it got absolutely hopped off online. I Cheeky got a lot of tongues. DMs. That's Flash Mob. Joy tongue erect nipples. Can't go wrong. What better <laughs> to get the nipples tired than fucking <laughs> expressing his <that? laughs> I guess we go on anyway. Uh, um, Dreams around about you in here, James. Uh, it was it was uh, at way down. It's called Raspberry Ripple. I, I actually think it, it might not be too there. If you go back up, uh, it's one of the... I, I started the post soul, but I stopped because I was being a bit, who do you think you are there? <laughs> that one there, yeah, that's it, Raspberry Ripple. That took, that took 10, 15 minutes. And as you can see there, two colours. And that, that was, at the time, like, that's not really... I, like, that would be... That's on a tiny piece of paper, like an A4 card. And at the time, I was just flicking around with, with knives. I wasn't really doing... I wasn't really latched on to a particular style. I was just using palette knives yeah. just to see what kind of textures and, and shit I could get going. And that's what happened with that. And it got up. I just posted it randomly saying, here's now random Raspberry Ripple. And it got absolutely annihilated online. And I didn't know what to say. I was like, holy shit. I nearly, I was going to do an auction with it because it was, it was so mental. I didn't know what to do. Um, but anyway, I just gave it to the first person that the end is really, that was the fairest thing, wasn't it? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like this one now, in fairness. Whatever's going on there. Wicklow Wind. That's oh, a sexy yeah. one. See, almost like kind of like a tiger can oh a tiger thing going on. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's here beside me. Yeah, that's kinda uh, it, that's not finished now. It's it's gonna get the hand treatment soon. Um I'm gonna be put a bit of orange on that and then that'll be done. It's not done yet. <laughs> but thanks very much, sir. I appreciate that. Well, no problem. I'm, I'm looking through them, man. I, I actually, I really like them, especially like the orangey ones. Like again, this one. But yeah, yeah you're saying you're kind of experimenting. I can kind of see that in the likes of the ones with the uh, the old standing those, lion. Those lions was for that was for a particular thing. That was for the leash, the leash DA supporters club. Um, so that kind of tiger is the old leash GA crest. Uh, now look, look, I'm not mad into the GA. I wouldn't really know much, but I, I remember that old leash crest, and uh, I just wanted to kind of. I I was making a painting for a giveaway for them, so in order to kind of get subscriptions on the page, because they the 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 supporters club raise money for the county teams to keep them kind of on the road and stuff like that, um, keep them fed and water. So I kind of made a big massive canvas piece, and I kind of brought everybody along on the journey of how it got made from start to finish. And they got, they got a heap of subscribers out it. I was delighted. But then we did a giveaway. But I did a load of other ones at the same time because I had so much blue paint. <laughs> I had to fucking get rid of it all. So, yeah. So, it was a good crack. Yeah, so that's what those tiger ones are. And I, I don't like. I don't normally do the stencily ones. Like, a couple of DJs asked me to put their their uh, logos. Like, that one there is a state of trance. That was a... That was, a, that was, a, that was probably one of my proudest. Even though the paint is shite. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like it was e well it wasn't easy but it was small and kind of it was kind of it, it got done in over a weekend but where they went the to it was for one. two it was for two DJs yeah in Amsterdam yep. who I'm huge fans of and I, I tune into their show every week and they took them on and they have them hanging in the studio and I was like the their radio show that went live 
that Thursday, if they of trans, like that gets millions of followers. And for the first hour of the show, my pants are just sitting there. <laughs> the boys are flat out fucking doing the show and my pants are just sitting there. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? They actually put them in the video. Oh, I couldn't believe it. And they sent me emails and like everybody in the office were buzzing. I couldn't believe it. Or I was I was off my face for days after that one. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I was so proud of that because... Like, I'd worked with one of those DJs before, and I just thought nothing of it. And then we thought you had the chance to do something with him again, and it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. So, and that's what it's like. I, I, like, I give a lot of these away to people that I want to own them. People that kind of helped me get through a kind of particular period in my life. DJs, comedians, uh, otherwise. And You know what you should do for Owen Colgan? Old Jambon. You ever you see his fucking obsession with jam bonds? <laughs> Imagine that a big dirty jam. He, oh he can probably gosh. see jam bonds in a lot of my veins. <laughs> or Ask him what he sees. Jam bon, jam bon, jam bon, crow. Yeah. The crow smoking a bag. <laughs> yeah, he he's great crack. I, I was gonna say something there. You you did you did you did one with, for charity recently, didn't you? I did, you did a, one I like did a, a charity a, raffle or something. Yeah, the ARC, the Cancer Support Centre. Yeah, they do. Now I, I know someone working with them and to do a big. No. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's seriously, seriously good to do a bit of charity work like that, especially because you know how much work you need to put into these things. So, uh, seriously, fair play. Oh, cheers! Thanks very much. Yeah, I've done, I've done a couple for charity. It's funny, like giving back vo- voluntary work is something that's really. Oh, you have to do voluntary work. It's something that. It's something that um, since I, I got out of that kind of dark time and when I went traveling, kind of get, giving back, just taking anything, well, anything that's voluntary where you're taking your time, you're, you're providing time and effort to something that is free of your ego and free of your kind of, like, free of, of you, basically. Like, the people that you're volunteering for or the Anybody that you volunteer for don't really give a fuck about you, but they they care about your what you're providing. You know they don't care about what what, what the shit's going on in your life and blah 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 blah. So I, I learned really quickly that I, I need to do that. Um, so like I was coaching and doing stuff like that, um, and walking dogs and things like. But I was only doing the things I liked, <laughs> like animals and sport <laughs> coaching. But then when COVID happened, I was like, how do I how do I keep it going with the art? Like I have to be able to. I have to be able to contribute something somehow. So, yeah, I did that one with, with the ARC. And I did another one with Bill LaFrandi, a, a woman in the Ruby Club that kind of needed a house built. And then every, every and then again, I'm giving them away. Like, you know, I, I'll, I'll happily give them away. I do Captain Comms every week. I love doing that. And every time, every time somebody gets them, they're fucking delighted or delighted. Like, I'm not, 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 not sucking me on Mickey here, but like, like people think that the art. I'm art glad to hear. Is... I'm glad to hear you. Ash. I wish I fucking could. <laughs> I'm not an <laughs> I should hear. Send him an email. <laughs> but, uh... I'm not shucking the Mickey. <laughs> yeah, what's that saying about me? But... but yeah, no, just just like people have this this uh, this view of the art world that like you can't touch it. You can't touch it if you're working class and nobody can afford it. And like it, that's that's a load of Mickey. Like it, 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 it's it's a matter of fucking asking questions. Like you know, it's a matter of open up the fucking open up the dialogue with the artist. Um, so I I'll give them away, and and the crack that I get out of going through those captions with people online on Instagram, and then of course when the winner is announced and they get them in the post and they message me, it's fucking. It's 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 no different to a kid thanking you for helping learn a skill or a dog owner. You know, it's that it's that feeling. It's it's unbelievable. Just take your fucking ego out of it and, and all that, and it's it's great. And I'll continue to do that every week. I've done twenty six of them now, and I, I'll probably do I'll, I'll do them until I'm dead. I'd say, yeah, it's great. I love it. I mean, I'm it. glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah it's, cool it's seriously good. I would recommend uh, anybody. How do I even phrase? Just like you, you don't even have to need it. Like I was needing it, you know. I was just rough, but but you, you just just try and just give your time and and do something like that that will put you out of your comfort zone as well. 
because it, it, that, it, you can get you can, a lot of growth can happen there if you're you kind of don't know what you're doing, but you're but you're helping someone at the same time. It's 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 unbelievable, yeah. And I w- I would recommend anyone try try any sort of volunteer. It's great. It's great crack. Um, I suppose it's hard now with COVID, but like sure, look, you can you can cut the grass for the neighbour there. That's the same thing. Like you know, you can go <laughs> local with. It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one thing I loved about doing transition year back in the day. Like they, they made you do some kind of charity work. You have to, you have to get some work experience, some kind of charity gig, or um, what was the other one? You'd learn a skill. Yeah, the three things you have to do. Mm. Um, I remember working with Saint Vincent de Paul, and you know, it, it just just so sound to go in and like you be pick you be I don't know you be putting things on hangers, putting them away, having a shout people who are doing it for free as well. You find yeah. out why everyone's doing it, like blah blah blah. You feel like a gobshite because you're the only one who has to be there, but you know it's 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 a good thing, uh, charity. So it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it's powerful stuff, and like. Those organisations are powerful organisations as well, and people. Some people have a different view of of that. There are just volunteers there trying to help, because like a lot of them don't have great names because they can only have money and stuff like that involved. But again, I just keep saying, so fucking what? Take your ego out of it. You, you you might not like it. The people that don't like, don't or have that view of kind of those um, big charity organisations, they've never done it. They've never done it. Go go and fucking do it, and then you won't give you shy. You won't care. What charities are the money makers and their CEOs? Because you'll be too busy down in Saint Vincent de Paul, or I'll be too busy over in the the KW SPCA with the dogs. Like he, you, you don't care when you're sat when you're doing stuff. No different to you doing pods and me. Are you just you just powered on? You, you there's no noise then, you know. So it's interesting. Yeah. Jesus, mm. away from McGregor, the fucking chariot. You are. <laughs> fucking yeah. hell, fucking you and Mickey. <laughs> what happened there? Man, if what... there's any, if there's any man doing great, how much did he donate to that charity? Wasn't it like half a million or something? He like, donates recently. a fuck ton, and no one cares. No one gives a fuck. They always say no. more. Yeah, not enough. Not well, enough. They didn't do the same with Bezos though. Like Bezos donated, how much was it? Like ten billion towards like the environment, and yeah, people were like, like, why not more? He he cut out a serious amount of his wealth to environmental charities, and the whole thing was more, more. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you, more. More Fuck or, you or your personal life, your your what's the crack with you and your wife, or what what, what are you getting a divorce, you're a disaster, what's crack with your kids, you're a mess, you know, fucking let that alone and stop fucking don't use Amazon then if you don't like him, you eager. There uh, you go. But like, <laughs> yeah, to your first. Like, in, in comparison, like what he put, like he put, he gave that much money, like people would be complaining about him, like how much, how much would they have given that year, or ever? Ah, you know, sure. Not, not really yes. much. It might it might have. Maybe forgetting to put stuff in the bin as well, like. Oh yeah, or they might see a fucking cat there run down the road and swing it, swing it, boot up the hole. Because those people yeah. do that. They're those type, those <laughs> types of people, you know. But like, yeah, you just do what you can, what's within reach. Like, I give, I can grow my own food here, and like, I give cabbages there to the neighbors and stuff, and that's that. That is enough. Like, that can be enough. If you can, you know, if you don't have the money to give away, go out and fucking plant some broccoli and give it away, or. Walk the neighbor's dog or cut her grass. There's so many w- we, ways of doing it. It doesn't have to be, look at me, I'm walking all the dogs there, or look at me, I'm giving my pens. It can be fucking just go in and have a cup of tea with Brady down the road that only has two years to live because he's shook. You know, that that's, you know, that can be a two. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, I had, had something there and then he got made it sad like, um, <laughs> actually, well, let's get back to me wanting to suck me on Mickey because that's, <laughs> that's the real thing here what does that say about my psychology was he diddled no I wasn't <laughs> so don't worry <laughs> uh, yeah well, was, I don't know it's just yeah. mad yeah but sure, anyway look we just powered on don't we you you were saying like growing all your own food there we, we had some lad on back in the D back when we started um, and he was he's at the Cork rooftop farm so he started a fucking farm on a roof in Cork City. Yeah, he's fucking With chickens and sheep and all. No, well, no, he's <laughs> he's chickens and bees, and he wants to get pigeons. Oh, like, lovely! Can you eat pigeons? Like Apparently, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can eat pigeons. They're a delicacy. Eat. They're a delicacy in Cork because they haven't discovered the the you know actual food there yet. The tribe, the tribal people, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're dead, the right? Tribal people of of Cork. They just yeah. keep saying bye and hoping it works as communication. But for well, I'll tell you, there was a pheasant running alongside me there the other day, and I swear to God, all I could think was, I'd love to eat you. 
<laughs> it, was, it was beautiful, but oh, I'd love to try and eat it. <laughs> I, 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 I do archery, yeah. So, uh, like, obviously, bow and things kind of a, kind of a cool thing. Can't do it here in Ireland, but every time I see it, like an animal like that, it's fairly close. I'm like, hmm. yeah. <laughs> can you not? Can not you not have animals idea. with with balls? No, not in Ireland. No, well, sure, you yeah. can shoot them. Not in Ireland. I mean, Unless like, you have a license. You need a license. You need to be, you need to be in season. It's pain in the ass. Um, honestly, hunting hunting in Ireland isn't even worth it. Not not even a little bit. What? Mm. <laughs> okay, uh, it, uh, come close, come close to the mic now, Dar. Yeah. Honestly, uh, Sunday morning there, four o'clock in the morning, grand grand bit of dew out in the grass, and you see a few rabbits. No, you're sure you're thinking I'll go out there now. <laughs> no, <laughs> <I'm hungry. laughs> yeah. <laughs> If, well, if, rabbits if, are a pest. They're fucking all over our here. It's a know. disaster. Trying to drive them out. It's, like fucking it's, it's so in weird. The like one of the only animals you can hunt here, basically for no reason, like is a fox. Like it doesn't have a season. You can you can yeah. hunt it whatever the fuck you want. Um, it doesn't matter how you fucking kill it. But a fox. You know, you think maybe a rabbit or something? No, fox. Like yeah, hunting not as here are a joke. But yeah. Um, what's it saying? I remember when I was in second grade. I do for- Man, oh, don't so... read out that comment. It's fucked. <laughs> so if someone said like th- th- their mom, like someone punted a cat or something, and their mom saved her, and just, just weird. Uh, I'm like, not seeing these hear... comments. Show me all these fucking. No, man, cases. you don't need to see this. All right, you need to see this one apparently. So <laughs> the look for reading it there. Cause it's a bit. It's a bit out of the ordinary there. Coalition Middlesim man. Just. You know, next time, how about we just ask him about why his art looks pretty? But you know. <laughs> but there's no question there. He just says, there is, no, you're right. There is, know, see, now, this, this is a Here's much a better question. Do we do commissions? Ah, yeah, yeah, I do. Sure. So somebody comes with something, they have an idea for something and they have a space to put it, uh, I'll, uh, I'll crack into it. Yeah, I've had a few mad, a few mad uh, ones. There was one there that was, he was looking for one for a curved wall and that we were, go, we were getting into, we were getting into weird territory like, um, just shit, shit that was going to be groundbreaking for me, but it just got it just the, the price and the kind of material and like I was having to get carpenters involved and fucking big wood shop. <laughs> I was like, this is getting out of hand here, but we make <laughs> we make calm it down. But I was happy because I I knew your man like he, local wood, uh, growing in emo there, and you know we were all ready to go, and it just got it, it just got crazy, and then like the kind of. It's it's I suppose it's like a, again I don't know I I'm only learning all this, but I suppose it's like a builder coming in to kind of estimate a house or do a survey and you just see those fucking numbers taking up and taking up <laughs> and I think yeah. I think when that started to happen everybody just went this is getting crazy here we may as just hone it in so we went a different way with it but yeah that was a cool one the car was all we we managed to make it work it's it's on my Instagram there somewhere as well but uh, you know which one it is it's uh, it's the Vickerstown Fancies. Um, it's like a big kind of cosmic, um, what color? It's like purple, uh, fluorescent pink, blue, kind of that kind of like a kind of big. Because everything you have is like so up to you. That's very hard to find. I'll, I'll put up on screen again. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd have to see. I'd have to see it. It's kind of it's three. It's three big individual pillars. Um, long kind of. They were like one point five meters long. They were they were big, big yolks. So you you don't have to go too far. It wasn't that long, what? Um, and they were they were they were mad. But it was it was going to be on a like a huge curved canvas, like wood treated and curved. No, it's further down. Um, keep going there. Uh, so it was yeah. It would have been it would have been unreal. But we had to go with a different a different route with a tree separate. Oh, there they are. That's them there. Yeah, they're the Vickerstown Fancies. They're like 1.5 meter. I think it's 1.5 or 1.3. I, I can't. But anyway, yeah. So they were they were wild, yeah. And they were three separate, and they moved them around the house, different kind of upside down. They put them lengthways to put them height. It's it's crazy. Um. So that's that. Yeah, yeah. So that was cool. I like that one. Out there, they are getting made, taking up the whole fucking room. Look at the fucking size of them. <laughs> like, could you imagine that on a curve cat? Like, I I'd know or even like I'd know. Like, I have my own little kind of bedroom studio here, but, like, we'd know where to put them. Like, it would have been mental. But, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, we do commissions. (laughs) (laughs) What's... uh, 
Oh, no. Nice. Someone's question here. What's this? Uh, you have to say both now. I can't, I can't see it. You're gone there, Jar. What do you mean? I can't see it. Did you throw up another question there? Yeah. It's like, oh, I can't see. I can't if, see if anything. Like the stream yard is right below your head. Do we do commissions? No, uh, someone said <laughs> your favorite awfully Irish podcast member. Short answers both, right? And your audio was gone. Yeah, you have to mute yourself. Nope, still on mute. How about now? Oh, mute again. Hello, hello. Oh, there hello. We are. I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> Shit, what happened there? Oh, Missed no. you. Technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was just saying, I like that I can't see Tom. I like that kind of side of it. He's kind of a, a mystery man sometimes. No, so many issues with your computer, Thomas. It's just a pain. Yeah, and now my phone's oh, well. die as well. So fucking hell. We're, we're all, part of, all part of the journey. There you exactly. go. Exactly. Literally, it. When I'm like, when I'm sitting on my mansion on my my self-made millionaire laptop idea, where it's a laptop and a tablet, you know, you know. All... <laughs> that's been done. Yep. Yeah. Nah, By man. The time that happens, you should have been it's... done, man. You're you're also point. fucking negative. Don't mind him now. Don't mind him. Do you believe in ghosts? Someone's asking. All right, I'm out. My phone's about to die. Have a lovely stream, everybody. See you. <laughs> See you, Tom. All right. Bye, Kieran. Hello. Do I believe in ghosts? Yeah, we'll, we'll go through this question. We'll call it quits. Yeah. Mm. Uh, not really. I like. I like. I like the idea of them, but I just. I. I find it so hard to get on board with it. Like you know. I I used to love watching do you know Most Haunted that show that was on with that Derek Akora guy the Scouser medium I used to love watching all that trashy ghost TV yeah because um, I just I just loved the kind of theatre of it I love that he because he's obviously a bullshit artist but he's an entertainer and he was very entertaining on that show Um, and I used to just love watching that. I used to love watching him move around the houses and talk to all these like fucking straws. Oh, what's the crack, man? How are you getting on? Like I used to love that. Yeah. But I, I can't. I can't. Like I, I could walk through. I used to live. I grew up beside a big uh, a Protestant graveyard, like the, the worst kind. <laughs> oh, stop. But I, I, um, and I, 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 I grew up walking through all that, and it never, there was never any. It was always just that, whatever, you know, that kind of way. But um. But I do like the idea of them, and I like that there are people out there that do believe in them. Fair play to them. <laughs> I like the flowers, absolutely. <laughs> We've we actually had a lot of mon before. We, um, yeah. Amy, or was it? I think it was Amy did did a did a show, and we had the entire cast of it on. And then there was Jesus. this this group that came to Ireland to do it back in the day. Had them on as well, and then some lad who has a YouTube channel based around it had them on as well. We had them all on, to be honest. You know, we. Yeah. We like to kind of branch out. And and is it kind of the same? Like, what are you trying to get out of it? Like, you know, are you trying to poke and prod or, you know, I, are they I all kind of... The conversation is like, what was your most convincing thing? Why was mm. it most more convincing? What makes you legit and other people not legit? Yeah. How, how, how do you do these things? Like, one, one guy says, like, a lot of what people use is, is bullshit. So he uses, like, only things that you can properly measure. So like drops yeah. in temperature, changes in like air pressure, you know, literally just a fucking camera just out there, thermal sensors, whatever. None of this like, you know, spirit boxes or whatever. Yeah. Because he says and... like, the idea with that is it flicks through radio channels really fast and eventually you're going to hear something that sounds like a voice. So it does, doesn't matter. Because you can use it anywhere. You, you use it in your own jacks and it would come up with something. Yeah. Yeah. And sure, you turn on the radio in your car and you pick two channels and it's, you know, you know, it's all that kind of that radio wave stuff. It's all kind of samey, isn't it? It's, yeah. you, you can kind of hear it everywhere if you want to. And then the do I like the dust, the, the dust particles. Oh, you see that fucking, there, there's Mary over there in the corner and they're after kicking the chair and fucking dust blows up everywhere. And oh, that's, no, that's Mary coming to have a cup of tea with oh, all of stuff. Speaking of Mary, before you head on, I'll show you this one now. There was, there was one... Uh... <laughs> There's one shown to us by by lads, and uh, it was Brandon Alvis. It's fucking scary, man. Uh, so what was it called again? The Queen, Mary. 
Apparition. I'll get that up now. Uh, here we are. I can't see anything there, sir. I know I haven't pulled it up there yet. Oh, just God, sure. I can't. But I can't see you either. What do you mean you can't see me? Well, you're you're kind of frozen there in in time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, on, on the video, I'm not. Like, if I go to YouTube, I'm not. So. Yeah, grand. I should be alright though. That matters. Um. All right. So, I'll get this here. I put up. Let me know if you can see it on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll do. Should, should be able to see it now. Yeah. See, it's coming. All right. So. This is fucking spooky, I'll tell you that. <laughs> we lot lot on and he, he shot this, uh, Brandon Alvis, and he didn't even know he shot it back in the day. That's what he says. So it's fucking spooky stuff. Just chilling. Nothing yeah. in there. Not really happening. Fuck is that? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Like something sli slid down the wall. Yeah. I don't know. The first time he showed it to us, it's fucking, it's fucking it's creepy. Like, mm. but uh, you know, you you, you wonder the legitness to it. Like, um, yeah. And then, like, it could be. Uh, I don't know. It could be anything. Jesus, sure. You could have him on. <laughs> the amount of explanations he could have for that, Jesus. You'd need 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 hours. There but, you go. Yeah, so him, drop, he there you go. And I'll drop yeah. your links in here if people want to check you out. So we'll finish up now, but like if people want to check you out, where can they find you? Ah, sure, just yeah, just just bang me in anywhere. Jar really, Kieran Highland, and it's I'm on it all. Uh, simple. That's just, <laughs> that's as easy as I can say it. I mean, you told me to Google there. Like my my link tree on my Instagram has kind of all the website, social media, YouTube channels, stuff like that. So yeah, wherever I'm right there. There you that's go. That's basically it. <laughs> there you go. It's as simple as. Nice yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice and handy. Well, Jesus, thanks for having me on. That was a great crack, even though it was a bit, <laughs> a bit slow it to get all, going. Dude, it was all over the shop. You, you, you'd be surprised at the, the fucking shit we end up talking about. Well, no, but I, I just mean that the, the, the screens and all that. It was My, my laptop was uh, was all over the place there. Well, we got it going. <laughs> yeah, but like, slow going. I mean, the worst, the worst thing that could have happened is you could have got embarrassed about it or annoyed with it. You had a bit of fun with it, like, oh, well, I just switch over. Oh, that's grand. There we go. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. Adapt and react. There you go. And it, look, yeah. it was, it was all, all part of the fun anyway. I so, see it, Got to tune out now. So take it down, everyone. Good luck to you. Bye-bye.